Guess I spoke too soon. I'm hitting the hay, Sheriff Uncle Jerry. Nothing going on worth staying up for. False alarm. Hey, a wishing star. What'd you wish for? I'll never tell. Atta boy. Being a bank robber's cat is a lonely job. Hungry one, too. Good thing old Tom knows how to chase the blues away. Hey, I just made my biggest haul ever. I'm gonna hide it in this pinata where no one will suspect. You guard my loot with your life, cat. Anything happens to it and... Got it! What's with the pinati, Clem? <laughs> There's a time bomb inside, see? We deliver this to the bank manager for his birthday, and when it goes boom, we run in and rob the vault. <laughs> the law! Gone viral. Better go get my tackle bag. Now you two just sit tight while I see if I can find what I'm looking for in here. Nope. Now go, darn it. Where is it? Good thing I didn't pack much for this trip. 
Ah, oh, there we go. This will have you back in the saddle right quick. My very own Texas Zinger. Open up there, nephew. Since you're city-fied, we'll have to start you off easy. Hang on there, nephew. Worked a little too good. Doesn't pass its expiration date. Better go whoop up some more. Crambo. Now let's see. Oh yeah, almost forgot. A little squeeze of this here snake juice. Burn it. Well, that's the best I can do using citified ingredients. Hope it does the trick. This batch is so fresh, it might fricassee your innards. Maybe a bigger gulp will do ya. Oh, I guess it's got a delayed reaction. Threat detected. Security feature activated. Threat neutralized. Cold beverage. Accelerate dispensing. Hello, I am Snotty. How may I help you? Make cake, operate dishwasher, clean oven, make waffles. Vacuum. Floor. System overload, system overload. Hello, I'm Snotty. How may I help you? <laughs> Broil a steak. Naughty system overload. Prepare toast. Do you want to end automation? End automation? End automation? End automation? I'm sorry, the system cannot be turned off. Ironing. <laughs> Commence blending. Thank <laughs> you. 
filthy. Looks like it's bath time, mister. Good thing I bought some more pet shampoo. You're going to need it. Hold still, Tom. Aw, you look adorable, Thomas. Something smells all pretty and flowery-like. Hey, you two, cut it out! Can't you see I'm trying to get some sleep here? What the... <laughs> hey, look at this mess. You carpeted the whole yard. <gasps> Looks like you're losing your hair, pal. ways to stop hair loss. If I do it, you'll stop shedding all over my yard. Number one, mud pads. Let's get to work. Okay, cat. Here comes your treatment. Keep them coming, mouse. I don't know if it's working, but it sure is fun. What did you get into?
Sir, we're ready to start. We'll look over the tile selections after the ribbon cutting. Cappuccino scones and a complimentary gift basket are in your trailer. Thank you so much, sir. doing business with you. Back to work. Well, for your information, this is our union contract coffee break. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, do it yourself. We're behind schedule with this rebuild. Keep it coming. Pour some concrete, just add water. with this one. Come and get the kitty cat. Come and get it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Go fetch the kitty, choo-choo. Oh, he looks like he'd be a perfect Betty Bye buddy for nappy times. enjoying his new toys. Now, what am I forgetting? Oh, yes, the dry cleaning is in the trunk. That new service got this done in a snap.
Well, look what the cat dragged in. Thanks for staying out of the way today, Tom. This calls for your favorite dinner, Red Snapper. Doctor, you need to watch your carbs, mister. I'll toss you a salad. from the fried herring at dinner. Ugh, just throw them away already. It still stinks. It must be the skillet there. Still there. Just get rid of the whole stove.
the favor of me, El Presidente, by dancing for the golden guitar. Oh, come now. Surely someone can impress me with their magnificent dancing skills, eh? <coughs> Senor Tom, you are going to dance for me! My big break! Someone get rid of that mangy mud and bring in the actual cat stand-in. Uh, we forgot to bring the stand-in cat. Then improvise! You stay here, fella. Out of everybody's way. All right, let's get the stand-in on his mark. Perfect. Can't tell them apart. Uh, no, he's a little too close. Back him up. Now that's too far back. Let's bring him forward a little bit more. Back. Back a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Sound check. Ow! Good enough. Now, stand still while we position the lights and camera. Great. Where's our cat star? Still in hair and makeup. Ready on set! Get that ugly cat out of here! Not that one, the other one! Cat Snacks proud pet owner, you're on! You say I love my Cat Snacks kitty as much as he loves Cat Snacks, then we turn to the cat and he me out. Got it? All right, and action! I love my Cat Snacks kitty as much as he loves Cat Snacks. Let's hear that meow, buddy. I got this. Meow! Cat, I thought we got rid of that mutt. <sighs> All right, let's lose the meow and jump to the pet owner's line. I love my cat snacks. Cat! Kitty. Your fingers are in the way. We're losing light, people. Let's get this shot. I love my kitty snacky. Cat! I love my kitty snitty snacky. Cat! I love my snitty snacky. 
I love my snitty snacky snacky sack. Cut! Forget the line. We can put that in later. My arm is getting stiff from holding this box. I'll take over and play the cat's owner. It's about the cat anyway. Oh, fine. How do I make a cat snacks commercial without a cat? Stand in, cat. You're back on. Shut it down. We'll make it work somehow. Great job, Officer Hank. You're a doggone good cop. <laughs> okay, that's it. Can we change the channel now? The game is on. Oh, just wait until it's over, honey. After all, it's his favorite program. Isn't it tight? And so, until next time... Oh. The Bears are back on their own six-yard line, second and 17. Here's the snap, and there's another flag. What the? Why, you little thief! <laughs> it seems like we've got our own canine cop. Now, Tyke, if you're going to be our little police dog, you're going to have to look the part. There now. <laughs> you look so cute. Have fun. That's my boy. Ah, you look great, kid. And if you ever need backup, just whistle. I suppose you know what the penalty for that is. A punch and a kiss! What have you got there? No diving, points only. Well, you know what they say. You can't fight City Hall. And, uh... You know what the penalty is for that, don't you? A punch and a kisser! you got? Hmm. Huh. Littering. Now, what was the penalty for that? Oh, yeah. The old punch in a kisser. <laughs> Reckless endangerment. Nice work, son. Sorry, Jerry. Nobody's above the law. Oh, Tom, you brought the mail. Good kitty. Hey, Rick, do you remember that bulldog registry we sent Spike's hair clippings to? No. Well, listen, it turns out Spike is a descendant of a line of royal English bulldogs. Wow, our Spikes are blue blood. And get this, there's an invitation from a Lord Basingstoke to come to his castle in England, all expenses paid. Pack your bags, we're going to England. Richard and Ginger, welcome to Basingstoke Manor. Ah, Lord Basingstoke, I presume. Ah, and this must be Spike. Oh, 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 oh. oh dear. Bad dog, Spike. Um, he must be excited from the trip. 
It's quite all right. A bit of canine exuberance is in order under the circumstances. Now, it would mean the world to us if Spike came to accept our humble ancestral estate as his permanent home. Perhaps you could visit as often as you like. Now, I'll just pop inside to arrange tea. Meanwhile, you two can borrow the car to go sightseeing if you wish. Oh, yes, we wish. Ha, diggity. And you must be Thomas, Spike's feline counterpart. Pleasure to meet you. From what I hear, we'll have no trouble with mice here with you around. Allow me to introduce Harcourt, the top dog at Basingstoke Manor. He'll be happy to show you around the grounds. What do you say, cuz? Give me some paw. Must not get the concept. So, as you can see, dogs have played a role in this home's history for centuries. <laughs> to get us acquainted with each other, we'll have a spot of tea, eh, Spike? And here's Harcourt with the tea. Right on time, Harcourt. Now, Spike, you may have had tea back home, but I think you'll find this cup to be uniquely exhilarating. Pinky's up. Why don't you two go mingle with the dogs from the neighboring estates here at the Kennel Club? Ooh, hear that? We're gonna mingle, Hockey! Hi, Paul! Don't leave me hanging! He left me hanging. Allow me to introduce you to Dean, Duke, and Duchess. Greetings. Delighted. Charmed, I'm sure. So, what do you do for kicks around here? You know, action, fun. Well, there's uh, cricket, I suppose. Cricket? You mean you just play with bugs? No, boy. Cricket is a game, rather like your baseball. Now, we're the batsman and Harcourt is the bowler. When the ball comes in, try to hit it. I say, old boy. Well played. And here we have our... A diving pool. Check this out. Cannonball! Come on in. Last one in is a rotten dog, Biscuit! Here, here. I say, wait for us! Respect the fella's territory. The house is yours, the yard is mine. So let's have no more of this territorial confusion. Capiche? How you doing, pal? You okay? We can't have you in the house today, Tom. We're steaming the carpets and polishing the floors. You and Spike will have to share the yard.
Let's get one thing clear, Cat. I may have to share my territory with you, but I ain't gonna share it all. This here is your territory. This here is mine. Now, do we have an understanding? <laughs> <sighs> I see. It's gonna be like that, is it?
Bones ain't big enough for the likes of you, neither! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Well, I was here first, as if... Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Well, I was here first! Locals only, North Beach! Locals only, South Beach! Get, what do you want, cat? Can't you see I'm busy? That'll work. I like the way you think, Mousy. I float like a butterfly and sting like a me! Champion, easy. Well then, put him up. Someone knock? No oh, customers, splendid! Come in, come in. Welcome to Bloom and Gloom Flowers and Gift, where lovers come to buy and flowers come to die. So, what'll it be for the special lady? Jewelry? Or what about a perky little puppy? Oops, sorry, looks like that one expired. Or how about a Venus flytrap corsage? And what girl doesn't love chocolate covered? Cockroaches. Yeah! Or if all of that doesn't get you Twitter painted, try one of our custom headstones for size. I've got something for everyone. I've helped hundreds find true love. But alas, there's none for me. Excuse me, I have something in my eye. <laughs> Oh, yes, I remember this order. But if it is the secret admirer you're looking for, I'm afraid I can't help you. I've never actually met him. He places all his orders with my delivery boy, and he won't be back for another... Oh, well, trim my beard. There he is now. You two, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Oh, my. What was that all about? Well, that's my last delivery for the night, boss. I'm going to hit this sack. Night. Psst. Excuse me, Carlton. You wouldn't mind doing just one more flight this evening, would you? What? Uh, these two chaps here are on a quest for love. <laughs> Could you escort them back to the gentleman who's been placing all these orders? Excuse me. Did you hear me? I never want to see those two vermin again. Oh, but Carlton, this isn't about you and them. This is about love makes the world go round. Love pumps hearts up and down. Take a chance to romance love! Enough already! Yes, Fine! I'll help! Just spare me the whole song and dance. Let's get this over with. Give me that card! 
Oh, yeah. I remember this bum. All right, give up, Fairman. We're off to find your Romeo. And when I get back, I expect a raise. <sighs> well, at least someone will find love tonight. Wakey, wakey, boys. We're here. Did you come alone? The thorns were a big hit, but this time I really outdone myself. Now hold on there, son. I'm looking for this here hood feller. Any chance you seen him? Daggum, you Robin Hood! Silly Wolf, you can't catch Robin Hood and his merry men! <laughs> <laughs> Those merry men really get my blood to boiling. I don't know, but I've, I've been told, told we're the best at digging gold. Left, right, left, right. Darn Red Riding Hood holding up traffic. Can't you visit your grandma after rush hour? You'll pay for this, little Red. Hold it right there, son. I'm the inspector around these parts. Where are you going with that there basket? I am on my way to my sick grandma's house with the goodies, Tom. Now hold on there. Let's just have a look at them there goodies. Fried chicken, a banana, custard pie, bottle of apple juice. Huh, grandma can't be too sick to be chewing down on all this takeout. I'll just hold on to this for safekeeping. <laughs> Throwing a sick bash. <clears throat> it's vernacular for spectacular. Count me in, cousins. That should do it. A little detour should send Red straight to me. Get lost, kids. I've got bigger fish to fry. You mean me? Oh, get lost. <laughs> Now let's see about this sick bash. <laughs> You'll make an excellent plate of wolf puffs. Sit tight, boys. The main course has arrived. Aha! Just what I've been waiting for. Ah, we mustn't skip protocol. What big eyes I have. What big ears I have. Big nose, big mouth, yada, yada, yada. Let's cut to the chase. There, now, I hope you're all cozy. I'm not your granny, but I do love a basket of goodies. Ah, Robin Hood and his merry men. Curse you, Robin Hood. This isn't even your story. Now you can get what's coming to you, you evil bitch. <laughs> Now I've got a little something for you, Robin Hood. Forgot to say, what a big broom you have, Grandma! <laughs> hey, wait! That's not good. That there gingerbread man can hurt somebody. That's the idea. I'm all out of fancy cookies, so I hope you like the plain ones. Enough! No more playtime with the pastries. Now we use a little witchcraft. We really must do less merrymaking and more helping next time. <laughs> now all we need is to light the fire and get cooking. Oh, now what? 
They just don't make gingerbread houses like they used to. 